Good morning. Today we are starting off with some quiet weather, though. If you look up, you'll see that moon is filtered out by some high clouds that have been moving in and we'll end up with some more cloud cover here today than yesterday here in the valley. And we did have a pretty nice fall day, I would say, yesterday. We saw temperatures rise into the 50s. Here's a look at our numbers. Some low 50s in the south and some 40s in the north. The sunshine returned yesterday after the rain on the Saturday afternoon and the wind too. So it ended up being nice relative to that. And this morning, we're starting off with some numbers that are not bad. You will need your coat this morning, though. We're into the 30s across much of the valley. The cold spot, though, Grand Forks at 28 degrees out at the airport there. It's 35 in Fargo, 38 in Jamestown, Detroit Lakes at 37, Fergus Falls 36, and up toward Faustin 36, Langdon at 34. And your wind is quiet, very light out to the west. The rest of us, look at all these calm reports coming in. That is having an impact on things. Our fog has developed in some areas. Grand Forks, a visibility report at three miles. We're at zero right now in Langdon. So some trouble with fog there. Wapitans down to seven miles. Most of us, though, still reporting some good conditions, at least at the top of the hour. We'll see if we get an update here uh, coming up in the uh, next 10 minutes or so. And as we take a look at your radar and satellite map, I mentioned the clouds starting to stream into Fargo-Moorhead. Over to the east, you're more likely to be enjoying some clear skies right now, but you could see out west what's coming our way. There's some scattered showers around Bismarck and points south from there. And then more areas of scattered rain over toward the west into eastern parts of Montana. And this is all heading our way. So we'll eventually we'll see our chances for rain increase as we go through our Monday. So here's a look at your hour by hour planner. By seven o'clock, we're looking at some numbers into the 30s and heading into the later morning and into the midday time frame. We're just generally seeing those temperatures go up into some 40s and the wind out of the south southeast into some teens by noon heading into the afternoon. You can see that rain starts to move in and we're looking at the best bet for rain along Highway 2 and north from there. So that's where you're more likely to see it today, though the Southern Valley still has a chance for that. Our temperatures in the north, very similar to yesterday, some 40s there and some of us in the Southern Valley getting into the low 50s. Heading into later on this evening, a rainy one up north kind of a raw evening for us there. Southern Valley, not as bad, but we will have some wind gusting into the 20s as we head into the evening hours. And again, can't rule out a few of those uh, clouds producing some showers even in the Southern Valley as well. Now we're going to head into the overnight hours tonight and into tomorrow and watch how these showers just sweep right on out of here by the time we get to about five o'clock tomorrow morning. So around this time and we're looking at some clearing and some quieting happening as we head through the morning though that wind will start to pick up. We'll see winds that are out of the west which is good. Northwesterly winds not so great if we want to keep some milder air around but a westerly wind helps us out and we're looking at some numbers that will warm up a little bit more during the day. We'll see some 40s by the time we get to noon and some more of us hitting the 50s tomorrow in the mid 50s for those of us in southeastern North Dakota up in the northern valley more into the 40s there but mid to upper 40s there instead of the low 40s like today. So we're adding about five maybe 10 degrees to your forecast for the day for Tuesday but keep in mind that it's going to be breezy uh, through the valley. We'll see winds gusting into the 20s to 30 miles per hour and sunny too. Heading into the nighttime hours for Tuesday night, some clouds start dipping back in and we'll see a couple of sprinkles. Here's a look at your forecast for the rest of the week, your Halloween. Right now, we're still keeping things quiet. Temperatures, though, cool into the 40s for your high. And we'll see some temperatures dipping into the 30s during those evening trick-or-treat times. For Thursday and into Friday, our next system moves in. This one bringing us a change in the weather. We're looking at cooler temperatures, chances for some rain and snow. Uh, and as we head into the weekend, some 30s for highs. So that's going to feel pretty chilly. Okay, looks good. Thank you, Lisa. We'll wake up and smell the coffee. Find out where we are heading this morning for our cup of joe as we fall in love with coffee. Stay with us.